Okay, so if you have Cox Internet Service, you may have noticed that when you enter an incorrect URL, uh, because Cox has hijacked your uh, DNS service in order to monetize these errors with their monetized search links, they are returning an enhanced error results page every time you enter an incorrect URL. Uh, it can be pretty infuriating. Uh, in the old days, you could opt out of this enhanced uh, results page under your account settings. Uh, that's not the case anymore. Uh, so now you have to go into your Ethernet adapter settings and manually override uh, your DNS service. In this case, we're going to point to Google DNS to get rid of Cox returning this enhanced error results page. Now, in order to change your Ethernet adapter settings, you'll need to open up Control Panel. In Windows version 10, you'll left click on the Start button and just type in Control Panel, and it will launch. Uh, your control panel utility. In versions of Windows earlier than 10, just right click on the start button and select control panel. Once control panel is up, we're going to go to network and internet. And then we're going to network and sharing center. And then over to change adapter settings. So right click on your Ethernet adapter and open up properties. Underneath your uh, adapter properties, scroll down and we're going to be adding Google DNS addresses under both um, IP version 4 and 6. Let's start with 4. Let's go ahead and open up the properties. Before we add the Google uh, DNS server addresses here, we're going to go clear out any existing DNS addresses, uh, DNS tab, delete any addresses that exist. Before you delete them, write them down, uh, record them so you can put them back in later if something breaks. And then click OK. Once you're back here, we're going to be entering in 8888 eight, eight, and 884. Eight, Four. When you're done entering those Google DNS um, server addresses, click OK. So now let's go to the same thing to IPv6. Click on 6, open properties, go to advanced. We're going to clear out under the DNS tab any existing server addresses. Write them down before you delete them so you can put them back in if something breaks. Click OK. And under the IPv6 DNS server addresses, we're going to put in the Google um, IPv6 uh, DNS addresses here. The preferred one is here. The alternate is the same, except for the last two digits are four. When you're done, hit click OK close. Your Ethernet adapter should now be pointing to the Google DNS server address bypassing Cox. Now to test if it's working, open up your browser again and type in an incorrect URL. And you should get your standard site can't be reached. And you know that Cox is no longer in the loop. And now test that your new DNS routing is working on a correct URL, and you're good to go.